Hey, what's up everyone? Tetrick85 here with some more fun with FIFA 10. And in this match, fe we'll feature Napoli vs. Sassuolo in Serie A action. Now, I gotta be honest with you, there wasn't really very many Serie A games that caught my attention, but... Me being a, a, a bit of a fan of Napoli, I've always seemed to root for them whenever they play. I decided to play as them, and... Sassuolo is another team I like, but so I've decided to feature both these teams in the same game. As you see, Sassuolo play formation one striker up front and like to relieve pressure by playing long balls out of the defense. And like Real Betis and Villarreal, they play a 4-2-3-1 format, whereas with Napoli, I like the 3-5-2 formation because it gets the three tenors, Hamsik, Cavani, and Levetsi, some time together. As you can see, my bench there was Pandev, Higain, and Callejon. This team packs quite a wallop on offense. Now, Lovetsi and Cavani no longer play for Napoli. They both play for PSG. Although Cavani's been rumored to leave PSG for quite a while, but nobody's been able to get him over that line yet. And I don't expect him to move from PSG at least this season, but... I figured I wanted to keep this roster as, t as much of a tact as possible because, like I said before, him, Levetsi, and Hamshik made what the fans affectionately called them the three tenors, and they did pa pack quali quite a wall up, and they actually made Napoli a title contender at one point. You see, Campagnaro, Canavaro, and Henrique for, and the, the three center backs for Napoli. See, Sassuolo. Flocari and Flores up front. Reto Ziegler out on the wing and Carl Valeri in midfield. Sassuolo's actually got a pretty pretty decent squad and you can tell this because this is going to be their third season in Serie A where everybody expected them to get relegated after the first season. And see they're right off the bat. Levetti tries to pull a uh, uh, pass in from Cavani but Unfortunately, he wasn't able to quick the, make the quick start that what Neumar did against, uh, had for Villarreal against Real Batiste. Oh, he's in the clear. He's got away. See, once again, the Betsy. Man, that guy couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> and early on in this match, that's become a theme for Napoli. They just could not get the ball on target. And I, I, I was scratching my head. I'm like, I wonder why. Especially early going here. See, the Levetti passes it to Cavani. See, Cavani couldn't hit the on target either. I don't think at this point I was like, oh geez, you gotta be kidding me. It's gonna be one of those games. Which I do have a lot about those games where either they hit the crossbar a lot or they just hit off target for some odd reason. Gokan Inler there with the nice pass to Cavani and then Lovetsi here trying to make something happen. Which I actually, as you can see from the meter, I actually did push the button there for him to shoot, but he just did not shoot. Ziegler, the nice pass to Floro Flores for Sassuolo. I gotta admit, one of the reasons why I like, like Sassuolo is because of their kits. Because not a whole lot of teams play with the green and black stripes like that. See Cavani finally hitting the target, managed to score the first goal for Napoli. Is Napoli is one of those teams like not Lazio that wear the sky blue, but well, one of those teams that I act can actually root for from time to time, unlike Manchester City. Well, the first goal was always going to be important. It took a while, really but I got my first goal for Napoli, and I think at this point I really started to get my bearings on this team, which this Napoli team can be just as dynamic as what VRAO is, but you just couldn't tell by the way that this team started. Walter Gargano with a nice dispossessor. Juan Zuniga, who is a right back in this game, a right, a right wing back, but I play him on, as a right midfielder here. Because, and he can play both positions too, as you can see. Hamshik with a nice goal there. Of course, FIFA 10, this was before his trademark Mohawk hairdo that he has. I, like I referred to before, Hamshik's the only one of the three, ten, three tenors that are left on this team. Hamshik with a nice tackle there. See, Levesi couldn't get a hold of the ball. 
Laura Flores with some interesting footwork there. Campanero with the scoop up there. Plays for Inter Milan now. Hamshik was not ready for that pass. Of course, Canavero is a brick wall in defense. Look at this, they picked him up. See, Levetti trying to make something happen here. And he redeems himself after some early misses. This goalkeeper really has had his work cut out today. They really are beginning to get away now. Yeah, I, like I said whenever I showed the formations and that, I've always kind of liked the 3-5-2 formation. Yeah, it gives me one less defender, but it gives me a lot of options on attack, and as you'll see later on in this video, I do have plenty of options on attack. Of course, Hamshik's pretty much the quarterback, pretty much gives it to either Levetti or Cavani when he wants to. And it also helps you have good midfielders, too, or as a matter of fact, Walter Gagano and Gokhan Inler. I have as the two center midfielders, and they do a pretty good job uh, getting the flow of the game too, is where, the way I want it. So we, the half hour mark, and it's only three nothing, which is quite a departure from the last game I played with Real. I still can't believe how good that game went, and I was so happy I was able to keep a clean sheet. Though to be fair, Batiste really didn't put up much of a fight. As you can see here, Napoli is considerably stronger than Sassuolo. You can see how easily I'm able to dispossess them. Cavani was a rainbow shot there, which once again he couldn't get on target for some weird reason. It's actually where the highest rated player, if not the highest rated player on this Napoli team. See Levetti trying to strip him. Cavani with a nice dispossess there. And you see, he leads the counter-attack. Cavani once again with the rainbow shot, and this time he converts. Cavani was easily one of the most important players that Napoli had when he was with the team. And one of the reasons why they were challenging for the Serie A title for the, the, for the couple years that he was there. Very dynamic when he's in the box, though. He's kind of lost some of that since he joined PSG. Though, to be fair to him, he was he was being played out of position. He was usually employed as a winger for PSG as opposed to being a central forward. And you see Levetti there. Levetti, I have to admit, is kind of underused for PSG. You don't really see him feature as much as what he would probably like to and what his uh, fans would like him to, but... But yeah, I think Levetti and Cavani may be better off playing somewhere else other than PSG, but oh well. See Levetti once again spearheading the attack. Cavani trying to make something happen here. Wasn't able to connect to the pass of Levetti, which good defense there by Sassuolo. Oh, he caught him napping there. Maggio with a nice dispossess there, the right midfielder for Napoli. Maggio trying to pass it to Levetti there. As you can see there, Bianco commits the penalty there, and this is my first penalty in my friend with FIFA 10 segment. And Hamshik's there to take it. And he converts, which... I kind of thought that Cavani would have taken it, so, so then again, I didn't check my uh, settings for my team here, but... Luckily, Hamshik was able to convert there, and uh, I know in real life, Cavani's pretty much like a 50-50 when it comes to penalties. Sometimes he makes them, sometimes he doesn't. So it's probably better off I'm actually converted at penalty as Hamshik. See, Levetti trying to make something happen there, which... I think Sassuolo was lucky not to get another penalty called against them, though. Hamshik trying to pass. And Levetti's there to clean it up, make it 7 0 Napoli. Well, that's why it should be. It's just the the keeper, and as usual, I usually get my flow going near the end of the first half, and whenever I feel like I've hit my peak, that's when the first half ends. See Consolini there, ending things off. And I see the three turners getting the job done. Levetti with a hat trick, Hamshik and Cavani with a brace each. As you see some of the highlights here while the match facts pop up. 
Possession's like closer than what I would have thought. Be... Of course, my shot accuracy is horrible, especially the way that things started for Napoli. And the second half begins. See Consolini trying to get things going for Sassuolo. Hamshik tried to dispossess, not Hamshik, but Zuniga tried to dispossess him, but wasn't able to. Now, Napoli with the counterattack here. Cavani, look how strong he is, though. He wasn't able to get the ball through. Of course, once again, Cavani getting dispossessed, though. They look well organized at the back. Can he find a way through? Some nifty passing, though that back pass to Zuniga was not intended. He's got away from the defenders here. See the Vetsi with the pass there. That's offside, it is. And, and once again, I got called for offside there, which... And the manager, his you didn't see the substitution there, the but... Maserati comes on for Consolini. Maggio winning the aerial duel, though, he pretty much heads it to the Sassuolo guy. Dealt with by the defender. Lavezzi off to Cavani. Trying to spearhead the attack here. Nice pass to Lavezzi there in the box. Lavezzi scoring his fourth of the game, and it's 8 0 Napoli. You have to find that. And this is what the uh, fans were expecting that, that uh, they would do when they moved to PSG. As you can see, uh, Isaac Boki coming on for Michelle Troiano, which Richmond Boraki was pretty much the uh, player that played for Sassuolo, not Isaac Boki, but figured since they had the last name, put him on the team. Very good at reading the game like that. But like I was saying before, PSG fans were expecting, or fans of Lavezzi and Cavani were expecting those to make kind of tandem like that when they joined PSG, but it hasn't really exactly worked out for them. And, and a big reason for that is because they have uh, Slatani Ibrahimovic, which he's a pretty good player in and of, of himself. Which, how the guy has not, been, has not won a Ballon d'Or yet is beyond me, but... Ooh, did that hit his hand? You see, I get called for the handball there. Look, Harry with the free kick. Nice work there by the wall. And he'll take the last defender on. Once again, Lavetsi's on the attack. In on the goalkeeper, real chance. It's a real chance. And he probably could have went a few more steps before attempting that. I think he kind of rushed that a little bit. Keeper deciding against kicking it, opting for the throw. Maggio trying to cut him down there, which defending. he did. Maggio and Hamsik trying to get the ball, which neither of them could. Canavera with a nice tackle there, even though he wasn't able to get the ball either. Shouldn't lose the ball like that. Zuniga trying to make things happen. They're not frightened to get men forward, and no wonder it's worked for them. Nice work there by Cavani controlling that ball. And he is rewarded with a goal. He gets his hat trick, makes it 9 0 Napoli. Simon Mazzaroli comes on for Pedro Mendes. But yeah, like I said before, Cavani hasn't had nearly th as much success with PSG as what he had with Napoli. And that is kind of sad because I do like him as a player. He'll be disappointed with that. Oh, so See, that, that, I honestly could not blame Lavezzi for that miss because that was kind of a tough angle for him to, to shoot from. Not to mention constant pressure from the Sassuolo defenders. Locari trying to make something happen, but the Sanctus was easy. It was equal to the task. Made that look easy. Henrique passing it to Zuniga, which passes to Gargano, which passes it to Hamsik. Hamsik got fouled, but play continues since he was able to keep possession. And a nice goal there, ma making a 10 0 Napoli, getting his hat trick. For those of you keeping score, Hamsik with the hat trick, Cavani with the hat trick, and Lavetti with four goals. 
Nice to see all three three tenors getting three go at least three goals each. Can he beat the see the Betsy just working his magic in the box there. See Cavani with his fourth goal of the game. Shot stopped so well at the bottom corner. You don't often see them see. They're really enjoying themselves out there now. And the second half winding down here, which Miserably pretty much stored for the poker. I don't know what the Napoli people were doing there, but Campanero, Ca rather, with the pass to, should I say Cannavaro, with the pass to Campanero though, to get it out of the my side of the pitch. Cavani trying to make something there, but he was just in way too deep. Pomini, Pomini read, read that perfectly. Thrown out. Maggio, Maggio, uh, should I say Maggio? Boy, I'm having trouble speaking. Getting fatigued there, but I'm already in stoppage time, so for me to substitute him would be pretty much pointless at this point. Campanaro was a huge tackle there. And see, the, unlike the last game, I pretty much kept on attacking even though I was in stoppage time. But I was pretty confident that I was able to keep Sassuolo from scoring on me and that's the only reason why I did this because like I said earlier in the video Sassuolo is not even close to being as strong as what Napoli is and Cavani with his fifth goal making it 12 nothing. Floro Flores pass with Chacol Valeri there back to Floro Flores the former Udinese striker Zuniga uh, fatigued too, but like I said before, too late in the game to do any subs. And that is the game, and as you can see, the Napoli 12, Sassuolo nothing. Which in real life, Sassuolo actually pulled off the upset 2-1, to one, which I'm not sure if many people saw that coming. I know I certainly didn't, but... Uh, my shot accuracy is at 70%, which I guess it's better than 60%. Still not great, though. You see the match summary, though. Sassuolo using all three of their subs. I didn't use any for my second game. Or however many games that I went without using a substitution. But as you can see, the three tenors and the, the uh, assist here, too. Levetti with one, Hamshik with one, and Cavani with two. So... It was pretty much all about those three. Even though I gotta give credit for the central midfielders and as well, and uh, I gotta be honest, the defenders and the wingers really didn't have much of an impact, but that doesn't mean they weren't good either because once again, a total team effort by Napoli. Not as much as what Villarreal did, but I was pretty pleased with that game playing as Napoli, and uh, I'll probably be playing as them again on here soon, so. But that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.